acid rain. I'm sure you've heard of acid rain. Well, we don't hear about it so much nowadays. Mostly we hear about greenhouse gas emissions. But acid rain is still there and it still is having an effect on our environment. Let me start with what is acid rain? Well, first of all, what happens is any pollutants that are generated by our human activities, mainly from combustion engines, things like cars, lawnmowers, edgers, anything that burns gas or diesel, it gives off emissions that go up into the atmosphere, combine with some of the atmospheric materials, and then come down as rain and it actually lowers the pH of the water, the raindrops, when they fall down, it causes problems for our environment. You see this environment is much more used to having what they call pH neutral rainwater. So acid rain causes some problems. So the exciting thing now is I'm about to tell you how you can help contribute to solving some of these type of environmental problems such as acid rain and greenhouse gas emissions. First of all, there's a lot of things you can do at home. Go through your home and try to find out what you're using that it burns gasoline, you know, lawn mowers, edgers, hedgers. If they're running on gasoline, well, I would highly suggest that you replace those with the uh, same type of products that run on electricity. For one thing, they cost a lot less to run because you don't need gasoline to run them. Secondly, they're much easier to maintain. And then thirdly, they're much more effective. They, they often work much better than, than the old gas mowers you have to try to pull, keep cranking and get, trying to get it started or fixing the broken hedger because the carburetors are, oh, who needs all that? If you get an electric product, it'll be much easier to operate and maintain. Now, the other thing we can do to help uh, those kind of environmental pro problems is when you drive, we all, most of us drive vehicles. When you drive your vehicle, there's a lot of things you can do to, remove, to reduce the amount of atmospheric pollutants that you discharge into the air. Number one, take it easy. When you come to a stop, come to a gradual stop. Yeah, you go longer on the day that way too. The other thing you can do is uh, no jackrabbit starts. When that old light turns from red to green, yeah, just kind of ease out. And uh, the other, th one of the other benefits for driving like that is you have less, lot, less chance for accidents and you also save money. You don't need to buy as much fuel that you would be burning up doing those kind of uh, jackrabbit starts and quick stops. Okay, another great tip is keep the pressure on. That means keep your tires inflated to the proper pressure and that will help your gas mileage. And then the third thing is don't be too cool. That means keep the air conditioning in your car down to a reasonable level. You, you don't have to be you know, in practically in parkas while it's blazing hot outside. Keep it to a reasonable temperature and that also reduces the amount of fuel that you'll use to, to keep the, the, the car cool. If you would like even more information on what you can do to help reduce the contributions to acid rain and greenhouse gas emissions, uh, I have a wonderful source for you. Check out the California Environmental Protection Agency website and it gives you all kinds of other ideas that will help you live a little more gently on the earth.